Hello and welcome to part two of uh, this coding homework uh, exercise where we are creating an application called Almost Chess. So in the introduction I showed you what we are going to be creating and now it's time to actually create it. And the first thing I'm gonna do is create a bunch of classes. Now I need a class for the chessboard that will actually display the chessboard. I need a class that will represent the move that uh, we will be making and I need a class that represents the pawn that we will be moving. So I'm gonna create those three classes. Uh, let me make this bigger so you can see. I'm gonna right click and click uh, add class and this one I'm going to call chess board. And I click add and here's my chessboard. I'm gonna add another one. This one's going to be called uh, move. And one more, which is going to be called pawn. All right, so I have my three classes plus the program, which is obviously going to be the entry point from which the program runs. So uh, we can start working on them. The first one I'm going to create is a chessboard. All right, so first I'm going to make this class public because I need access to it. And I'm going to create a class variables. And the first one I'm going to, it can be a private one of string array, of two dimensional array called chess board and uh, I'm going to make a constant with the dimension of the chessboard so I'm gonna do a public uh, constant it's gonna be an integer called dimension and I'll, it's going to be 8 it's gonna be 8 by 8 chessboard so it's like a original 8 by 8 board all right, so um, in other ones, I'm going to create, uh, since I'm going to be moving uh, the pawns on my chessboard, I need access to both the pawns and move classes. So I'm going to create a private uh, uh, pawns and I'll call it pawn. Oops, the other way around, pawn. Ah, just lowercase pawn and um, the next one will be private and I'll call it pri uh, private object uh, move or class in this case it's gonna be move lowercase all right so um, when we initialize the chessboard what we need to do is uh, kind of make it a uh, graphical in representation you know remember the uh, the dashes and the plus signs in between each of those uh, pawns so i'm going to create uh, first the chessboard itself and then also the symbols that the that will represent the kind of graphical well, representation of the chessboard and also i need to initialize the uh, the object of pawn and move so I'm gonna do it all in my uh, constructor for the chessboard. We don't need any arguments there. Uh, so first I'm going to do a pawn uh, equals new pawn. And uh, move equals new move. So now I will have an access to uh, all public uh, members of the pawn and move classes. The next thing, I'm going to create the chessboard itself so I can initialize the uh, 2D array called chessboard that we created. Uh, and uh, that's going to be simply chessboard equals and it's a string. So it's gonna be new string array or two dimensional array. We, it's gonna be eight by eight, but we have it uh, stored in a constant called dimension. So instead of eight by eight, I'm going to use the constant. So that initializes our uh, 2D array. And now 
I'm going to create actually before I initialize them I have to create uh, properties for the uh, uh, for the graphical representation so first one it's going to be a string I'll call it chessboard you know it's gonna be a little longer but so I know what it actually means so it's gonna be horizontal symbol and it's gonna be get and set and the next one is going to be a string again and this one will be chess board vertical symbol and get and set so now I'll initialize these in the uh, in the constructor as well so I'm going to do chessboard horizontal symbol and the string representation will be the plus and uh, three dashes so basically uh, uh, each of those uh, symbols in our case it's, it's gonna be the letter X that represents the pawn will be surrounded by this symbol horizontally and we'll do the vertical now uh, so it's chess board vertical symbol and the vertical symbol is uh, simply a separator and a space like that so this will be basically plus and three dashes and a, a vertical separator and X in between then it's gonna be all around it so uh, that's our constructor for the chessboard and now we can uh, actually populate the chessboard uh, with our uh, symbols in it could, in our case it's gonna be X but you can use any symbols as you wish any you know any key from your keyboard now before we do that though we need to uh, kind of make uh, our move and pawn classes uh, workable we need to uh, assign members to those classes in order to uh, work with them in our uh, in our chessboard class as well so in the next video we will we will assign our member classes just like we did here you know the constructor and the properties and the private uh, variables and we will do that for our move and pawn classes so stick around and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.